Welcome family and friends to the graduation ceremony for class 2303. Please rise for the arrival of the official party, parading of colors, and the invocation. Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, arriving. Program Executive Officer, Strategic Submarines, arriving. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the playing of the United States National Anthem. Color Guard, post the colors. Chief Petty Officer Contillus will now deliver the invocation. Please join me in prayer. Almighty God, we ask you for your spirit to be upon us as we gather here to celebrate this class's monumental completion of one of the most intellectually rigorous programs in the United States military. God, wherever these graduates may go, the profound wisdom and tireless mentorship of their staff chiefs and instructors may be a pillar of strength and a reminder of how much each of them is capable of achieving. God, give them the utmost thanks for the unconditional love and support that our friends, families, and mentors have continually provided for us. We ask your blessings upon this command, this Navy, and this great nation. With all faith and trust we pray. Amen. Please be seated, ladies and gentlemen. It is my pleasure to introduce...
It is my pleasure to introduce Captain Jason Anderson, Commanding Officer, Naval Nuclear Power Plant Command. Well, that was always hard. Yep. So welcome to Charleston. I appreciate whichever family member brought 70 degree weather on September the 1st. So you're invited to all future graduations, no matter what time it is. Right? And I'd also like to thank, uh, so we have a PXO graduating today, Commander Rose. Uh, we just had a flyover, uh, it's supposed to be part of the National Anthem, but as we, uh, as we work through our stuff, it's always a lot of friction points, but uh, Commander Rose's spouse, the other Commander Rose, was the pilot on that flyover, so kind of a testament, thanks for what they do in addition to what he's doing today. <laughs> Major General Rugen, Major General Ortner, distinguished military and civilian guests, NNPT staff and students, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends. Good morning and welcome to the graduation ceremony of Naval Nuclear Power Training Command Class 2303. I would like to welcome the spouses, family members, and friends of our graduating sailors. Your presence today demonstrates your continued love and support, and I know it's appreciated by our student sailors. You should be very proud of these men and women. They have demonstrated perseverance and hard work in their successful completion and demanding academic requirements at Nuclear Power School. Our graduates today total 379, and they share a common bond of completing nuke school. Joining the legion of highly respected professionals, over 150,000 strong, responsible for over 68 years of safe, accident-free reactor operation around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my absolute pleasure, pleasure to introduce today's guest speaker, Rear Admiral Scott Papano. Rear Admiral Papano is a career submariner he was commissioned via the United States Naval Academy in 1985. He holds a master's degree in nuclear engineering from Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He served aboard the city of Corpus Christi, Albuquerque, Michigan, Ohio, all prior to commanding the USS Buffalo, forward deployed in Guam. His distinguished career ashore has encompassed multiple assignments in support of the submarine force as an acquisitions professional in various offices. Rear Admiral Papano's previous flag assignments include Commander Naval Undersea Warfare Center and Director, Comprehensive Test Facility, and Program Executive Officer, Columbia. Rear Admiral Papano currently serves as the Program Executive Officer for Strategic Submarines. It is my distinct pleasure and honor to introduce such an accomplished Naval leader, Rear Admiral Scott Papano. Well, thanks for the introduction, Skipper. Uh, you know, usually the short version of that is, hey, this guy used to drive submarines, now he designs, builds, and sustains them, but so we'll, we'll work on shortening it after going, and going forward. Um, I know that really none of you is here to hear me speak today, so I will keep my remarks short. I promise you no more than 45 minutes, and so we'll keep this thing going right now. And I thought we had the discussion that I brought the weather, but I guess not, so whoever wants to come back, bring back the weather, that's awesome. I really, when uh, looking at the schedule here earlier in the week, on my way down, I thought, you know, a hurricane's blowing through here. I said, well, we're going to be pretty low attendance at this, but this is probably the biggest ceremony, any ceremony I've ever attended. So really, thank you for all of your resiliency in showing up here and understand, you know, battle through the hurricane to get here. We're happy that you could all make it here. So to shipmates, family, and friends, thank you all for your support and being out here on this really, really great day. And most of all, congratulations to the class of 2303 on a significant milestone in your career. The very beginning of that and the future, it holds great things for you. So first, round of applause for the class 2303. Well, like I said, this is just the beginning, right? So, I mean, you are you know, taking that first step in your naval career that I took about 23 years ago. Some of you, one of you is probably gonna be speaking up here one day. But in between now and then, you know, what you do is so important to the nation. You, right now, what I see, all the men and women here, are the bedrock of national defense. Right? If I look at the world today, you know, I have two great powers, one in the east, one in the west. You know, we talk about, you know, a pacing threat, you know, in, in the People's Republic of China, and whatever's gonna happen out there, you know, as a pacing threat, that makes that a maritime war, right? Not only has the Navy defended the freedom of the seas since World War II and the Bretton Woods Agreement, 
where 90% of international trade flows and 95% of international communications flow, we should get cables. Our job is to turn war, but if it comes, we're ready to win it on our term scale with the United States. Right? So the men and women here are the keys to doing that. Some of you are going to serve on Ohio or Columbia class nuclear ballistic missile submarines. That's the bedrock of our national defense. Right? That is the underlying thing that says, hey, if nuclear strategic nuclear defense is holding, proceed with plans. Right? That is what keeps our enemies at bay and make sure that no bad guy wakes up on any particular morning and decides today is the day I'm going to try to take out the U.S. nuclear arsenal. Right? I need all legs in the triad. I need ICBMs. I need bombers. Right? But the SSBN force carries 70% of accountable nuclear uh, warheads and is our only survivable threat from first strike. So it is the bedrock of our national defense. Some of you are going to serve on Los Angeles, Virginia, or Seawolf class submarines. Right, that is the next layer of that national defense that I'm talking about. For a maritime war in the Pacific, I absolutely need those SSNs, those nuclear fast attack submarines, to break down the door of our adversaries, to penetrate air denial systems, and take those down and mitigate it so we can let the rest of the joint force flow into the battle center. Right? Can't do that without our SSNs. They can't win the war by themselves, but they can lose it. If, the, if our SSNs don't hold and do their job, the rest of the joint force will never flow. So when the SSNs win, and they will, now I flow the joint force, right? Where I have, some of you are gonna serve a Nimitz and Ford class nuclear powered aircraft carriers, right? The hallmark of our Navy right now, the centerpiece of what we do for, you know, international relations, right? A symbol of American power, and the ability to sortie more than anybody else in the world in a forward deployed theater, right? Incredible power projection ashore, to support and lead the joint force into that maritime plane, right? That's the importance of what it is today. So I know as you look around today, you've been slogging it out for the last, uh, you know, couple months here, you know, in the grind, you've been figuring out, you know, six-factor formulas and z dot decay equations, okay? Ultimately, you're going to get past that, right? Your next step now is to become great watch data, right? Understand yourselves, know yourselves, know your strengths and weaknesses, leverage your strengths, Mitigate your weaknesses, work with your teammates to make you and your team better as you learn to stand watch now. And then when you get to those ballistic missile submarines, those fast attack submarines, those nuclear powered aircraft carriers, right? Go there, you're willing to learn, be better every day. Because frankly, those are the capital ships of the Navy that you are gonna man and fight, and we absolutely need you to be on your game. So once again, congratulations to everybody here. A wonderful day. I wish you all the best of luck and continue great success. Keep doing great things for our Navy and our nation. Thank you. We will now present the graduation certificates for enlisted class 2303. Family and friends are encouraged to come forward to the area in front of the stage and take pictures while the certificates are being presented. As we recognize today's graduates, we will be recognizing those graduating with honors, 3.6, or with distinction, 3.4. The class director for enlisted class 2303 is Machine to Make Nuclear Senior Chief Petty Officer, Surface Warfare, John Bayless. All right, so this is the point where the parents, you guys get up here and have a good time. We feed off of your energy. So come up here and take some pictures, a little hoot and holler. Sections 1, 2, and 3 consist of electronics technician, nuclear power. Onboard nuclear powered ships, electronic technicians are responsible for the operation and maintenance of reactor controls equipment. Section 1 is divided by Chief Smith, Kellen Busa. Kevin Cortine. With distinction, Justin Folsom. Let's go, Folsom! With distinction, Caleb Fritzler. With distinction, Joshua Gipp. With distinction, Kyle Green. With 
with distinction, Mackenzie Larson. With honors, Nestor Lugo Carrasco. Lauren McKim. Hunter Mills. Cameron Murfield. With distinction, Charles in the black. <laughs> With distinction, Nicholas Noel. <laughs> Jack Poole. <laughs> Rebecca Robbins. Danielle Rubin. <laughs> Justin Rooney. <laughs> With honors, Zane Simmons. <laughs> With honors, Ben Beatty. Jacob Burden. Section 2 is advised by Petty Officer Barney. Michael Bradford. Joseph Bradley. Jack Christopher. Jacob Dewey. Nicholas Doskowitz. Donovan Graham. Morgan Hale. John Michael Hall. With honors, Maxwell Horton. Nicholas Jones. Brandon Lester. Luis Lopez Garcia. <laughs> Dakota Maxwell Kwan. Nathan Santos. With honors, Cameron Orr. Dawson Patton. Dennis Potter. With honors, Lee Riches. Keegan Salsi. Go Keegan! Michael Stripper. I'm a Stripper. Nicholas Smith. Woo! With honors, Dylan Sorrell.
with honors, Charlie Speed. Tracy Sweet. With honors, Elias Wilson. The honor graduate for section two is Justin Chan. Section three is advised by Chief McClellan. Addison Adams. Andrew Augustine. Grayson Bothus. Faith Brown. With distinction, Brett DeLorme. Kevin Gladu. Dorian Gennady. Vincent Guerrero. Jaleel Jones Valentine. Kevin Goldenbach. Zachary Coltenbach. With distinction, Nathaniel Larson. With distinction, Samuel McAllister. Ryan Matziger. With honors, Alexander Ortner. Jesse Orzabal. Jaden Petit. With distinction, Jordan Reed. David Rodriguez. Let's go, Rodriguez! Andrew Sakaure. With distinction, Gabriel Sandoval. Fernando Silva. With distinction, Carson Slavinsky. Kobe Sullivan. Kareep Williams. Mason Yoka. The honor graduate for section three is Jace Dukes. Yeah, with honors, Jace. Yes. Section four, five, and six consists of electronic correction. Section four, five, and six consists of electrician's mates, nuclear power. On board nuclear powered ships, the electrician's mates are responsible for the operation and maintenance of the ship's electrical power systems, including the ship's battery, turbine generators, and switchboards. Section 4 is advised by Chief Connell. With honors, Corby Akbari. (laughs) 
John Horton. Midas Ward Bowdy. Congratulations, John. Daniela Corbal. Robert Sayo. Christopher Erwin. With honors, Alejandro Flores. With distinction, John Greco. Christian Guevara. Alexander King. Isaac Mercado. Anthony Micelli. With distinction, Liam Nelson. Gabriel Nadado. Sierra Poe. Jaden Romine. Adams Shields. With honors, Darrell Stickles. Billy Stung. Takumi Suzuki. With honors, Gabriel Taylor. Evan Horton. Horacio Zarco. Section 5 is advised by Petty Officer Skipper. Nathaniel Abario. Helen Barreo. With distinction, Alter Bornaga. Jesse Calloway. Josiah Carlino. Janae Chambers. Basti Fidel de Gracia. Sean Driscoll. Robert Eldridge. Aiden Fox. Logan Galloway. Luke Gatlin. Woo! 
Dylan Kennedy. James Krieger. Jalen Lignett. Mateo Lona Matanale. Eduardo Olea. Rowan Hayden. Ray Millennium Roll Down. Brandon Rose. With distinction, David Sanchez. Parker Thomas. Shaloa Maitria. With distinction, Hannah Van Orman. With distinction, Daniel Yarnell. The honored graduate for Section 5 is Anna Meyer. Section 6 is advised by Petty Officer Skipper. Blake Alma. Tyler Brammer. David Brand. Zachary Couple. Clean Davis. Owen Holman. <laughs> Jason Kimball. <laughs> With distinction, Christopher Larson. <laughs> Patrick Myers. <laughs> Stephen Nelson. Christian Oliveres. He runs that way! Woo! That's my boy! With I honors, love you. Ethan Polino. <laughs> Edward Post. <laughs> Eliza Reynolds. Sean Reynolds. <laughs> With distinction, Daniel Rose. With honors, Colton Sluter. Kyle Stratton. Logan Sergio. With honor, James Swap. Patrick Thompson. Samuel Williamson. The honor graduate for Section 6 is Kevin Tierney. Thank you, sir. 
Section 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11 consists of machinist mates nuclear power. Onboard nuclear powered ships and machinist mates are responsible for the operation and maintenance of steam and reactor plant systems, including main and emergency cooling systems, main propulsion machinery, and auxiliary systems. Section 7 is advised by Chief Connell. Elias Alardin. With honors, Nathan Benedict Andres. Robert Barger. Luis Bustamante Alacorn. Marvin Cannon. Matthew Caratazzolo. Emmanuel Carrion. Pascal Cazio. Nicholas Cunningham. James Dow. Ryan Dunmire. John Egan. Devin Engel. Wyatt Erickson. With honors, Ricardo Frias Sotelo. Mason Jeffers. Nicholas Kostler. Hunter Marshall. Augustine Martinez. Nathaniel Martinez. Kyle Prescott. Kendall Green. Manuel Quinones. Brian Ruskowski. Chase Stacy. Caleb Sinnott. Alana Thornton. With distinction, Timothy Forges. With honors, Miles Welch. Emma Young. The honor graduate for Section 7 is Leia Horowitz. Section 8 is advised by Chief McClellan, Osric Abbott. Ozzy! John Abbott. <laughs> With honors, Elijah Anaya.
Maximiliano Bartolo Vecino. With honors, Caleb Brooks. Lamar Campbell. Jeremiah Christopher. Let's go, Let's go. Keith Cudworth. Benicio Diaz McPhee. Michael Dixon. Benjamin Estes. With distinction, Matthew Fisher. With distinction, Evan Fritchie. Aiden Hoyer. Amar Ishtawi. With distinction, David Laracuente. Ryan Love. Seth Peaches. With distinction, Justin Petticelli. Kale Ranky. Nolan Ricker. Jackson Robinson Valley. Adriana Rodriguez. Adam Roy. With honors. Jose Salinas. Cameron Scruggs. Tristan Stratton. Justin Tennant. With honors, Tenayden Thompson. Obina Ugochuku. David Wins. The honor graduate for Section 8 is Maverick Cornell. Section 9 is advised by Chief Smith. Thomas Agard. Yeah, Tommy! With distinction, Jordan Adams. Woo! Jordan! Jackson Ashley. Bryson Beck. With distinction, Nicholas Bordeaux. Yeah. Yeah. Amador Castillo. Yeah. 
with distinction, Nicholas Cristiano. William Clark. Aiden Crossgrove. With distinction, James Davis. Kellen Dwyer. Jalen Inslander. With distinction, Justin Fernandez. Colin Gilmore. Layla Gray. David Jones. With distinction, Riley Linnell. Nora Madsen. Connor McDaniel. Hasiel Mesa. Jonathan Montalvo. Bryce Mundy. Yanwell Negron Delgado. With honors, Gabriel Phillips. Blake Powell. With distinction, Felipe Romo Lopez. With distinction, Charles Wong. Liam Romo. The honor graduate for Section 9 is Vince Michael Torres. <laughs> Section 10 is advised by Chief Price. With distinction, Atmos Andershek. <laughs> With honors, David Arredondo. Daniel Aurora. Ty Bate. Joshua Blowers. Jacob Brindle. Gavin Bussard. <laughs> Brian Brown. With honors, Emmanuel Chaparro. <laughs> Martin Chaparro. With distinction, Matthew Claxton. <laughs> With honors, Dayton Dalrymple. <laughs> Leah Bell. <laughs> 
Turner Fisher. Connor George. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Jonathan Hernandez. Jacob Horner. Let's go! With honor, Seth Hughes. With distinction, Rasheem Johnson. With distinction, Joshua Keegan. With decision, Percy Kitchens. With honor, Sebastian Krieger. With honors, Caitlin Keen. Emma Morgan. Kaylin Lemke. Joshua Lidell. Andy Lopez LeBron. With honors, Colton Myerchin. Christian Moore. Jake Weber. Nicholas Whitney. Section 11 is advised by Petty Officer Barney. With distinction. Astrushig Bossendorge. Yeah! With distinction, Michaela Benson. Yeah! With distinction, Thomas Brodigan. Yeah! Nicholas Coker. With distinction, Thomas Dobbins. Corner Belt. Natalie Garcia Costa. Evan Goodrich. Raymond Hanshin. Jack Hartley. With distinction, Graham Harvey. Caleb Johnson. Joel Kubal. Tristan Lundy. Austin Mansky. With distinction, Aaron Manas. Ethan Nash. With distinction, Jose Parades. With honors, Andrew Panera.
Noah Powers. Michael Ramsey. With distinction, Declan Roberts. Connor Schaefer. That's my son! Kyle Sousa. With honors, Denise Spaulding. Daniel Waddell. Marion Watkins. <laughs> Mason Watts. Trim White. John Wilson. With honors, Anthony Young. The honor graduate for section 11 is Jack Lansky. Chief Petty Officer Nicholas Judge, please stand. Chief Judge has been selected as the instructor of the class by the students of class 23 of the as a result of his superior performance and dedication. Please join me in showing our appreciation. Attention to award. I will now announce the top graduate in each enlisted rate. The top electrician's mate with a grade point average of 3.89 is Petty Officer Jackson Bigar. The top machinist mate with a grade point average of 3.92 is Petty Officer Leighton Dillard. The top electronics technician and enlisted class 2303 honor graduate with a grade point average of 3.96 is Petty Officer Clement Kalpanen. Another round of applause for the honor graduate. <laughs> Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, seats. As we recognize today's officer graduates of Class 2303, family and friends are encouraged to come forward to the area in front of the stage and take pictures while the certificates are being presented. Graduating with Class 2303 are two prospective executive officers. Commander Ryan Matson, Prospective Executive Officer of USS Carl Vinson.
Commander Scott Rose, Prospective Executive Officer of USS John C. Stennis. As we recognize today's junior officer graduates, we will be, we will be recognizing those graduating with honors 3.6 or with distinction 3.4. The class director for officer class 2303 is Lieutenant Christopher Oram, who also serves as an instructor for officer reactor, plant, or reactor dynamics and core characteristics. Section one was advised by Lieutenant Luke Smilas. With honors. Ensign Jackson Blibben. Woo! Ms. Kristen Brandenburg. Ensign Ian Brill. With distinction, Ensign Ryan Brink. With distinction, Lieutenant Junior Grade Godwin Cuevas. <laughs> Ensign Logan Ferringer. <laughs> With distinction, Ensign Jordan France. <laughs> With distinction, Ensign Anna Isom. Anna! Ensign Andrew Kamishki. Ensign Caroline Custer. Mr. Eric Liebel. Mr. Nathan Lucio. Woo! Go, son! That's my boy! With the season, Ensign Michael Madison. With honors, Mr. Samuel Scarton. Ensign Ryan Shaw. With honors, Ensign Henry Shen. With distinction, Ensign Wesley Smith. Ensign Anna Starr. Ensign Brandon Thomas. Ensign Hector Villagomez. Yeah. Ensign William Winkler. Yeah, Will. With distinction, <laughs> Lieutenant Junior Grade Jinhui Ju. Officer Section 2 was advised by Ensign Gabriel Forns. With distinction, Ensign Byron Alvarado. With distinction, Ensign Cade Anderson. Ensign Dylan Benko. Ensign Grayson Browder. Ensign Theodore Danielson. Ensign Griffin Dunn. Woo! 
Mr. Jordan Harley. Ensign Liam Holiday. With distinction, Ensign Matthew Jarrus. Ensign Cameron Johnson. Ensign Chelsea Jones. Lieutenant Junior Grade, Duang Jun Kim. Ensign Maxwell Klein. Ensign Catherine Krim. Ensign Cameron Moneypenny. Lieutenant Junior Grade, Caitlin Parker. Yeah, Parker. With distinction, Ensign Andrew Peters. Yeah, Andrew! With honors, Ensign Nathan Polon. Well, Nathan! Ensign Luke Ritter. Lieutenant Junior Grade, Andrew Roberts. Yay! Lieutenant Junior Grade, Wesley Rugen. Yeah, <laughs> Ensign Eugene Sanchez. Ensign Joshua Sarsozo. Lieutenant Junior Grade, Jerome Trauber. <laughs> Officer Section 3 was advised by Lieutenant Christopher Oram. With honors, Ensign Daniel Adams. <laughs> With distinction, Ensign Ryan Anderson. Ensign Jordan Blackman. With distinction, Ensign David Bondi. Ensign Connor Byrne. Ensign Jackson Krause. Ensign Micah Delamarter. Ensign Catherine Duford. Ensign Cameron Feaster. Ensign William Fedor. Ensign Zachary Furrow. Ensign Aiden Greeley Stamby. With distinction, Ensign Noah Langton. Ensign Vincent Lindsay. Mr. Julius McBride. <laughs> Lieutenant Junior Grade, Philip Middleton. Taylor. 
Lieutenant Junior Grade, Kevin Pedro. Ensign Alexander Schmidt. With distinction, Ensign Landry Swanevelt. Yeah! Let's go, Landry! Ensign Cooper Scorick. Ensign Benjamin Soldo. Lieutenant Junior Grade, Elizabeth Troy. <laughs> With distinction, Ensign Ethan Tuck. With distinction, Lieutenant Junior Grade, Connor Weber. Ensign Micah Zell. Lieutenant Aaron Demers, please stand. He's over here. Lieutenant Demers has been selected as the instructor of the class by the officer students in class 2303 as a result of his superior performance and dedication. Please join me in showing our appreciation. Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, attention to award. We will now recognize the top three officer students based upon final academic performance. Graduating third in officer class 2303 with a grade point average of 3.73 is Ensign Liam Cahan. Graduating second in officer class 2303 with a grade point average of 3.77 is Lieutenant Junior Grade Jonathan Pham. The top graduate of officer class 2303 with a grade point average of 3.80 is Ensign Blake Bellamy. As a recipient of Vi the Vice Admiral Barron's Award, Ensign Bellamy is presented this plaque. This award was established by the Barron's family to honor his lifetime achievement as a submariner and a sea scientist. In 1955, then Lieutenant Barron's wrote and taught the first nuclear power school curriculum. So it's appropriate that the award is presented to the individual who has distinguished him or herself through superior academic and military performance. Petty Officer Kalpanen, front and center. Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, at ease. Mr. Jim Lyons will now make a presentation on behalf of the Charleston County, correction, Charleston Council of the Navy League to the top officer and enlisted graduates in the class. Charleston. Uh, I'm representing uh, two organizations today. Um, I'm the uh, president of the N Naval Submarine League here in Charleston and also vice president of the Navy League. Uh, we have an award uh, for the top two graduates and some uh, Navy League coins and I'll read one of the certificates. The Navy League of the United States congratulates Ensign Blake Bellamy United States Navy for special recognition as the honor officer honor graduate NMPTC class 2303. In appreciation for your service to our country and to your devotion to duty, we take great pride in enrolling you in the Navy Memorial Lodge, thus preserving for future generations of Americans a permanent record of your service in the U.S. Navy. 
Signed, James Offit, President, uh, Greater Charleston Council. Mr. Phil Nunnally will now make a presentation on behalf of the Submarine Veteran Society to the top officer and enlisted submarine volunteer graduates in the class. Good morning. I'm here for the Charleston base of the submarine veterans that we just call, call us Zubbets. And our purpose is to perpetuate the memory of our shipmates who gave their lives in pursuit of duties while serving their country. That their de dedication, deeds, and supreme sacrifice be a constant source of motivation toward a greater accomplishment, pledge loyalty and patriotism to the United States of America and its Constitution. The U.S. Navy received its first modern submarine 123 years ago, but the submarine service didn't show its potential until World War II. The first Japanese ship, ship was sunk by a submarine 20 days after Pearl Harbor. Service went on to, submarine service went on to sink 60% of all the Japanese tonnage in World War II. Since the first ongoing nuclear power plant was placed on a submarine, the USS Nautilus SSN 571, more plants have operated safely for millions of hours on submarines than any other type of ship. For those of you going into submarines, will have a great legacy to uphold. You are the future of the submarine service, and this is why Charleston Subbase has been chosen to present these awards. Charleston Submarine Base Submarine Legacy Award, Nuclear Power School Class 2303, to Ensign Blake Bellamy, recognition of your achievement of the highest grade point average for submarine designate for your class this first day of September 2023. <laughs> submarine Legacy Award, Nuclear Power Class 2303, ETN3, Justin Chan. Also in recognition of the highest grade point average submarine designate for your class on this first day of September, 2023. The Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Award is awarded to a student in each section who, as determined by the class director, and section leading petty officers exhibited the greatest degree of professionalism. These students were selected based on the virtues of hard work, personal dedication, and desire to succeed. The following students are the Class 2303 Commanding Officers Personal Excellence Awardees, Ensign Ryan Brink. <laughs> Ensign Nathan Colon. Ensign David Bondi. <laughs> Electronics Technician Third Class, Justin Folsom. <laughs> Electronics Technician Nuclear Third Class, Jacob Duby. Electronics Technician Nuclear Third Class, David Rodriguez. Yeah! Electrician's Mate Nuclear Third Class, John Barton. Yeah! Electrician's Mate Nuclear Third Class, Vasti Fidel de Gracia. Electrician's Mate Nuclear Third Class, Edward Post. 
Machinist Mate Nuclear Third Class Hunter Marshall. <laughs> Machinist Mate Nuclear Third Class Tanaden Thompson. <laughs> Machinist Mate Nuclear Third Class Layla Gray. Machinist Mate Nuclear Third Class, O.C. Kitchens. <laughs> Machinist Mate Nuclear Third Class, Denise Spalding. <laughs> Alright, let's have another round of applause for the Commanding Officer's Personal Excellence Awardee. The Fleet Reserve Association has established a hard charger award, which recognizes an individual's outstanding effort as a highly motivated student and model sailor here at Nuclear Power School. Machinist Mate Nuclear Chief De La Fuente will now present the hard charger award on behalf of the Fleet Reserve Association. Petty Officer Jaleel Jones Valentine, front and center. Good morning. The Fleet Reserve Association is comprised of enlisted service members who are working for you. Established in 1942, is a long, steady voice in the Capitol Hill working with safeguard service members, paid benefits, and enriched education programs and opportunities to improve your health care, enhance a variety of quality of life programs for you. Young men and women of our sea service, whether active duty, reserve, retired, or veteran, Navy, Marine Corps, Coast Guard, the MRA, Following are some of the ETM3 Jalil Jones Valentine notified by the Association. We have assigned our training plan. We have demonstrated sustained performance and outstanding ability to stay the course and successfully complete your duties without you. By maintaining a positive attitude, using an exemplary work ethic to overcome an academically challenging curriculum, you improve yourself professionally and military while assisting your fellow shipmates. You provide us an example. A, uh, excuse me, an extending example for your classmates with a strong academic desire, superb military performance, and dedication to duty. For your professionalism and performance your, and to your duties, as a result, your selection has been, uh, been the recipient of the Fleet Reserve Association Hard Charger Award. Naval Nuclear Power Training Command, seats. Captain Anderson will now offer his closing remarks. All right, I reiterate whoever brought the great weather, because we've only got about another 20 minutes, and, and I'll let you go. No, I'm just kidding. So um, I want to express an NPTC's appreciation to Rear Admiral Papano but, uh, for making the trip to Charleston and for his remarks. Uh, I really appreciate the focus on where we're going and where we're going as a force. And I think it's great to hear it from, uh, from people like you, sir. Um, graduates, I hope you remember Rear Admiral Papano's words and most importantly, his example for the standards required to maintain America's position in the world. In a moment, you'll be dismissed, but before this, I want to leave you with a departing call. The Navy, and in particular, the nuclear-powered warships, have long provided the presence of deterrence and when required, firepower to defend democracy and American values. The warships are enabled by the endurance and power density of their nuclear power plants. It's now your time to serve, to operate these power plants and support our nation with the knowledge and skills you have learned here. Because it's vital to our Navy and our national security, the staff of NNPTC worked so hard to help you succeed here. All of you encountered difficulties along the way, but that the fact you're here today means you have risen above and that you are safe and trusted nuclear sailors, ready for prototype training and ultimately service in the fleet. I want to say thank you to my tremendous staff, both nuclear and non-nuclear, 
You do amazing work. Every day these graduates, uh, you do amazing work every day. And these graduates are gonna take a little bit of their fire with you when they go to the fleet. Staff and students, I am so proud of you. Each and every one of you. I'd like to end our ceremony with a thank you to all our families, both my staff and students. Their enduring love, support, and sacrifices to make this world and our wonderful country possible. God bless NNPTC, the United States Navy, and God bless America. Guests and graduates, please rise. Chief Petty Officer Contillas will now deliver the benediction. Please join me in prayer. God of all grace, we thank you for everything said and done here today. Father, as we leave this place, keep us aware of your constant and watchful care over each one of us. Seal us now, O oh Father, in your love by the power of your might. Keep us from harm, accident, and e evil. May your face shine upon us with your delight for us and grant us success and peace. In your holy name we pray. Amen. The official party will be available in front of the stage following the ceremony for pictures. Class 2303, attention. Class 2303, dismissed.